Camping on Victoria Boulevards is now illegal. As we first showed you last night on A News, the changes came into effect when Victoria City Council passed a bylaw prohibiting people from sleeping on medians and road allowances. Critics say the new laws won't do much to solve the homeless problem in Victoria, but they might have a positive effect on new businesses springing up in the area. A News reporter Shachi Curl has the story. As of this morning, doing this is illegal. And by early light, police were on hand, moving along those who've been camping on road allowances or medians in the city of Victoria. It's a familiar routine for police, but one they also pushed for after several pedestrians were hit by cars. The Supreme Court of Canada had quashed an earlier version of the bylaw. This one could be challenged too. The changes prompted a small protest last night and advocates for the homeless say all city council is doing is moving the problem a few feet away. Uh, a lot of them are staying right on the sidewalk, right across the street. Uh, some of them at the, in front of the Baptist Church down the road. Uh, some of them uh, farther down on Pandora. Some of them on Douglas Street. But Reverend Al Tisic of the Our Place Drop-In Shelter says he also understands why the bylaw is in place. A council trying to uh, appease the total community, not only my community, but the people that live on the street, the businesses across the street, uh, trying to reach some balance. And there is a fledgling business community being reborn on the 900 block of Pandora Avenue in the form of a couple of new cafes. Jamie Cummins admits to being a little worried when he opened Relish Food and Coffee. Because there's not much in this neighborhood because everyone's sort of afraid of it. But the customers are pouring in, the reviews are good, and he has no regrets. There's revenue up there. There's the health services right here, and down the street there's another building, and there's conservatory music. There's just, and there's plus this North Park neighborhood right there. Right next door, Cranberry's Coffee Cup still has the new paint smell. It opened just over a week ago. Owner Bert Higginbottom says she's proud to be here. The people that have offices or work in offices are really glad that there is somewhere to come. And our customers seem to agree. I sort of like to see this area revitalized a bit. And, I, you know, I think it's great because it'll help hopefully, um, you know, help the other businesses around as well and just give a boost to the area. It's not a magic solution. People no longer allowed to camp still need a permanent place to live. But for now, there is hope for a new beginning on a long troubled block. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.